Check it out now, y'all. Nano Hub U Online Instruction. It's my pleasure to welcome you to Nano Hub U's first online course. That's this entitled The Fundamentals of Nano Electronics. And hopefully, this is the first of many more courses to come. In the coming semesters, they are, we're planning to offer two new courses every semester, and we'll see where it all goes. Now, there is a separate video, actually, which introduces the scientific content of the course. And I don't want to go too much into that aspect here, but one point I wanted to make right at the beginning is that our basic philosophy, not just with this course, but the ones we plan to offer in future, is, is simple. It's like we want to bring you cutting edge concepts, but we want to bring it to you in a way that it's broadly accessible. Now broadly accessible in the sense we want to have, try to avoid using specialized jargon, things that you are known to specialized people. So that way we want to make it so that no matter what your background, which discipline you're coming from, you should be able to follow what, what, what we are talking about as long as you have a basic mathematical familiarity, namely algebra, trigonometry, of course, calculus, differential equations. So a fairly standard mathematical background that all students in science and engineering have. Because we are really not want to make sure that what you're telling you is not, what you're teaching you here is not a survey course. We want it to be not a watered down survey course, but something that actually gives you in-depth understanding. So the only thing we're avoiding is the specialist jargon. But anyway, there is a separate video that goes into the scientific content. This really is more about the administrative part of it. And there I'd say the first step, once you have registered, would be to download the class notes these class notes are, will be published next year by World Scientific, but at this time are not available. And, but once you register, it's available to you. You can, first thing you should do is download them. Now, in terms of the logistics, or rather the, de the actual details of how it will work. Now, this is where, again, this is something we're doing for the first time. So, this is all the scheme that we have come up with is the following, that is every week, so there's a five week course, now every week on Monday we'll post three things. One is a set of video lectures, about two hours worth. And these two hours we have divided up into six 20 minute modules. We kind of chose this number 20 minutes because we figured you know it would be relatively easily down, downloadable, convenience-wise. And that's also kind of the attention span of many people, most people like me. And also, I'd say, you know, many of you are busy professionals. That's also about the kind of mean-free time that you have between two emergencies that you have to attend to. And so that's how we came up with that number, 20 minutes. Anyway, so you'll have the six hours of lecture, but in the form of six 20-minute modules. So that's one. Number two thing we post on Mondays is a quiz, which after you watch the lectures, you may want to test yourself on. It's computer graded. It's just more for your feedback than anything else. You could just test yourself to see whether you got the main concepts. And the third thing we'll post on Mondays is a set of homework problems. Again, it's up to you whether you want to work on them right away or not, but what we'll do about a couple of days later, that's on the Wednesdays, what we'll do is, we'll actually post the solutions to the homework also. And we'll also post a couple, uh, four tutorial videos, which will show how those problems are done, the homework problems. So that comes on Wednesdays. And then a couple of days later on Friday, we post an exam which you can take any time within the next two weeks after it is posted. And when you decide to take it, you have two hours to complete it. And this exam is what, or if you are wanted a letter of recognition from us, you know, the, that proof of completion, 
the one that says proof of completion, then that's where these exams are important. Now, if you don't want that certificate, you know, that letter of recognition, or you don't want the continuing en engineering units, the CEUs, then you don't need to take the exam. And the exams have a passing grade of 60%. Uh, but if you do like above 80 or 90, then there's a, on your, cert, on your, these letters of recognition, there's a special recognition for that, like high, highest distinction or with distinction. Okay. So that's how overall then the uh, thing will proceed, that every week, three things on Monday, namely the lectures, the quiz, and the homework the homework solution and the tutorial videos on Wednesday and the exam on Friday. And this is two five-week courses. One of them starts on January 23rd and the last posting is on February 24th. And then you have a couple of weeks to finish up. And then we start again with the second course on March 19th. And again, the last posting is on April 20th. So that's the overall of what we have planned here. Now most of what you'll get in this course, namely the lectures, the homework, the tutorials, they're not time bound in the sense that, you know, if you're like most people, you may want to, you may have a tend temptation to say, well, we'll look at that later when you have more time, right? You don't really need to do it right away in principle. But the thing that you get by doing it right away is this online forum. That is, we have an online forum which you should join, again, as after you've registered. And what you'll have, you'll ha be able to post questions on that online forum, this hot, using this hot seat technology that Purdue has developed. And those questions, again, you'll have a chance to interact with other students who are enrolled for this course and also with the instructor and the teaching assistants, who will regularly be monitoring those questions. And the questions that are, that are rated highly, especially, we'll make sure we answer them. So we try to, we'll try to have a good discussion going with this online forum. And this is the one thing that you get by sort of following along the course in a timely way, rather than putting it off till later. Because this is the one thing that we'll have available only for these five weeks and plus an additional two weeks where when you can take that last exam. But every one of these is kind of, is time bound. So this is the part that you're getting, that you may want to take advantage of and thereby you know, follow along with the course on a regular time, in a regular timely manner. And I should mention then that this is like our first attempt at this and it involves a fairly large group of people you know, involving many different aspects. And we are all very committed to trying to make this a good experience for you. So please give us your feedback as we go along. Don't have to wait till the end. If there are things that you're not so happy with, let us know. I put, we'll have the email addresses both for myself and our project director, Diana Hancock. So you could send it either to either one of us. If there are things that you like, please do let us know. I mean, we are happy to know that, you know, some things that you, of course, anything you like. But more importantly, once we realize that you like it, it means we'll also make sure that we continue doing it. So in that sense, it's helpful to us. So we'd like to hear from you either way, you know, the things that you like and things that you don't like. And so thank you again. and. Welcome to NanoHub U's first online course.